you believe this weather? It is gorgeous. I woke up this morning, I was like, I can't make sense of this being uh, mid, maybe possibly even late December. This is crazy. Um, this did look like a little nip in the air. Like we're wearing shorts and jumpers. The reason we came to Porto Mayo was almost like sticking a pin in the map, but there were some reasons. One, uh, the weather here is uh, incredible. All you gotta do is look at that windy app and see how protected it is and how mild the weather is here compared to the rest of the uh, Atlantic coast of Portugal. The other big reason, and it was simple as this, was that we are members of a group called Kids for Sale on Facebook and we just sort of log on there where we are where we're going what sort of thing we're up to and other families do the same and two other families um, i got in touch with are both here for winter as well but first we needed to go and get a tree we went to the chino store a place that's a bit like eBay. It sells everything. Literally everything. Like. Wow. I used to get those. Yeah. What? So For daily school. use. Three hours. What? It's like we used to have a video recorder when we were youngsters, and that was the tape. So instead of, and you could record programs on it from the TV. What do you think of that? We had a family vote, made our decision, and off we went. Time to decorate. Claire, what's, Claire, what's going on? I'm supervising putting the lights on the tree. Because they have to go on neatly, they have to be neat. Merry Christmas! I have a very long moustache. I have a very long moustache. A very long moustache. I've trained her well. It looks like we're super popular with all these cards, but actually we keep them all. I keep cards from people uh, from one year to the next, and then I'll get rid of them if they're still alive, and then we <laughs> and then we keep the next year's cards. That's the way I do it. So then you've always got some a card left from someone who died. With the boat decorated, we welcomed on board our favourite German family, who had also made it to Portimao to join us for a warm Christmas. We all went to explore the town together. We found a Christmas market and we were delighted to see they sold our favourite chocolate cupped brandy. Popular one? Well, uh, all of them uh, are sweet. Oh, they are sweet too? Okay, cool, that's fine. In that case, this is what we had last time. Nice. What do you say you say cheers in Portugal? Uh, saúde. 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 Oh, that's yummy. Oh, I'm going to put the whole thing in my mouth and leave it there for you. Good. Mm. In Germany, is not... this is called a cold dog. But in Germany, there is rum inside them. Oh. No. Okay. Yes, no. there is rum. My family does rum in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the children friendly version. Cold dog.
This was a first, picking oranges the week before Christmas. Is it like, is this like a hanging offence? Yeah. Picking the king's oranges? The camera. <laughs> no. No. I'm mean, just going to try this one then. Oh yeah, you can tell it's not ready yet. They've sucked a lemon. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> their expression's all funny. Like. Try it, Dar. What's it like? Like a lemon, but it tastes lemon. so bad. I like lemon. I keep on eating it. <laughs> Hugh has just been to the English shop. There's an English supermarket and uh, he's brought us back some stuff. He said, do you want me to show you the treats? And I said, yes, I'd like you to show me the treats. So let's go. First thing, chutney. Yeah. They had onion chutney, apple and brambly, plum and apple and one other. But that's good. So they've got some chutneys there. That's co-op, is it? They've got everything. So it's like they've got, uh, they've got, like it says, every little helps. But they've got a bit of Sainsbury's, they've got a bit of Waitrose, they've got a co-op, they've got a bit of Safeways. Amazing. And then they've got everything. Christmas dinner is saved. Yeah! Yay! Yay! Also, we've got loads of stuff for Christmas dinner that I don't even like. That Kelly only has like she just wants a tidy bit of Christmas dinner just to make it feel like Christmas. Yeah. Which includes. That's for steaks. Okay, for Coleman's mustard. They yeah. had loads of mustard. They even had Waitrose mustard. Uh, they had. Um, oh yeah, proper uh, Bisto gravy. Yay! Uh, I've got light behind me. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. This one is a special one for all the children to enjoy, and they had loads of this. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Finally, yeah. the old sandwiches can endure. Uh, now we need ultimate bread. Oh, yeah. This, we made with the bread maker. Kelly wants this for Christmas yeah, dinner. Yeah, that's just a Christmas dinner. Yay! That's good. quite good. So it's like Christmas is literally saved by this shop. Uh, what else? Uh huh. This one, okay, this is Mummy Mom's just, Mom just wants this for Christmas. Uh, I'm not excited no, about that. that's for something else. That's a recipe I've got, which is uh, Jamie Oliver's Yorkshire puddings with smoked salmon and horseradish. Yay! That's a yes. So, okay, and then finally, this one is a special one, particularly for Eric, because he loves these. Ready? Can you guess what it is? Pickle. They actually they had loads of pickle, but it's not pickle. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Yay! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> More Christmas prep. We bought a bucket. You'll see why later. And we went to get some more supplies from that magical land that is the English supermarket. Yeah. Right, guys, ready? Let's go. Exciting. Oh my god, they got like tins of roses, and I don't even like that. I know, it's really weird. That's what I mean, they literally got. That's why mums go to Iceland. Oh my god, I can't believe that's still an acceptable slogan. That's why mums go to Iceland. Yeah, dads can go to Iceland too, just want to clarify. We have got a bag of sprouts already. Yeah, but we need two. Do we? I don't know. Sprouts and pancetta. Good. Right, oh my word, parsnips. How many parsnips are we going to need? Two or three packs? Don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Three packs of parsnips. Obs. You're going crazy. Going That's crazy. a lot. How are we going to fit all that in the roasting tin? Fine. Sweet. Yes. Christmas is saved. My Irish carrots. I don't even like any of this stuff, but it's just like, it's just here. Oh.
This was bizarre. If we had still been living in the UK, we would never in a million years have got excited about all the stuff in this shop. But I guess being away from the familiar for so long brings excitement when you find it again. Here we are at the English supermarket, but I'm afraid close, but no cigar, 50% fruit. Waitrose, I'm disappointed. I want Sainsbury's rock squash, 100% or nothing. We've got some elderflower though. Yeah, it's got like, it's just got Strongbow, John Smith and Stella. WKD. Oh, WKD, got wicked. And Orange Breezer, I used to drink that when I was like, 14 and smirnoff ice. It. Yeah, it's an alcopop. We had a, uh, what's that? Absence. Is that the one? The colourful one. Do we need? We bought so much that we had to get an Uber back. We got thoroughly robbed, but we have got an English traditional Christmas to show the Germans. We've got Stilton from Iceland, uh, Chutney from Waitrose, Branston from Pickle, Colgate from Toothpaste, yeah, the Germans would love that. Christmas Waitrose, Elderflower Cordial, uh, Italian olive oil, yeah. fresh from Britain. This uh, is what? Maple syrup Christmas. from Canada. <laughs> Just got a turkey from uh, Pingo Dolce. Look, uh, 27 euros 89 for a five kilogram bird. And then when I scanned it, 17 euros. Amazing. I'm going to Nigella it now. Yeah. This is Nigella. This is going to be, I'm going to soak the turkey Nigella style. Once you've tried soaked turkey, there is no going back. Squeeze them into the water and chuck the husks in. This is, this is the weirdest Christmas ever. I feel like I'm making a potion. Me too. It's so weird. You need to stir it like... You know how we use string to tie up our turkey? It looks like they've just used its own skin. It's clever, isn't it? Oh my God, it's still got a neck. We covered it in cling film and left it for two days. What else are we going to have on Christmas yeah, yes, dinner? Ooh, roast parsnips with maple syrup, uh, roasted potatoes, um, pancetta and sprouts, um, swede, um, got some cranberry sauce, pigs in blankets, um, sausages, lots of mince pies. We've got crackers, so making the Germans. So we basically, we've got the Germans coming and we wanted to show them a traditional English Christmas dinner, which I think is like, um, it's and really good. It's really good. So yeah. that's what we're doing. And we've got crackers. We're going to make them wear paper crowns. Yeah. We're thinking we might try and think up some fake Christmas traditions, English traditions, and see if we can pass them off and make them do strange stuff. But yeah, we'll see. So we just left our letters out uh, for the birds last night to take to Santa. And Mummy just said that when she was little, she used to put the letters out too, which she said a couple of times, but then she said that when she did, the birds left something on the tree, and this is what we found on our tree. These were not <laughs> here last night. Oh. They were not here last night, and there's even one there. Oh my so Eric is 3D printing his presents for his sister. What yeah. have you printed? Well, we've printed this one for Darcy. It's a cookie cutter that cuts out paw prints. Present making's going great, it's just in there. Um, we're printing tillies at the moment, so I'm just gonna come show you. So here it is. Wow. What's looking like so far? We're printing. we're printing her a cookie cutter and it's um Cut it, gonna cut out poop emojis, gonna cut poop emojis, it's looking great. 
That is looking awesome. It says it's got 59 hours left, 59 minutes left. That's good. And that's just, even though it's so I chose some wines for Christmas using my dad's tried and tested method. Hold this a minute, Tilly. My dad reckons, because I don't know anything about wine, he reckons the further you can stick your finger up the hole at the back means it correlates with a better wine. So I've got one where you can actually stick your finger quite far up, so that's got to be a good one. Uh, this one, not so much. It's only got a little dimple, so don't know how but we have had that one before yeah so yeah that's the uh, that's the my dad way of telling if it's a good bottle of wine or not do the scrubbing it's christmas gotta be clean new christmas outfit i might even have a shower cow we were so excited for christmas find a way for the reindeer santa we get some little chocolate as well yeah Cute. Do we need to put a bottle opener there so Santa, when he yeah. comes, yeah. he'll need something to open it with? Fantastic. We've been a bit worried about this. But, um, through lots of love and help from our family, uh, I don't think our kids are going to uh, want <laughs> this Christmas. And Santa hasn't even arrived yet. Those stockings are still empty. It's crazy. Jingle bells on the piano. It's Christmas Day morning. Santa's me, and we're going to unwrap. I've already got. I've also got. <laughs> I've just got all oh, my presents for you, buddy. Three presents yesterday. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Right, and inside you get a paper crown, you get a toy and a hat. So we can have so, one. Oh, you got it. So you pull Simia out and you can win one. Ready? Okay. I've got two. Oh, oh. Ready, Paul? So inside, you get a paper crown. Oh, I've got a tape measure. obligatory English Christmas Day walk. Although this one would be one to remember as we went to the beach. Look at feet untouched in the ground. Nor are her shoes. Chilly out of the way. We then went back to the boat as we had invited some more neighbours round to come and join in the fun. House full of Germans. <laughs> we shared some gifts. We got them some English stuff from the supermarket and a ukulele. And they gave us a fishing line set up the same as theirs. 
Let's hope it brings us just as much luck as Lucky Jay has when he's fishing. What a day. What a year. What a Christmas. On the one hand, it was strange not being with our friends and family. But when you travel, you find others who are also missing their friends and their families. So you come together and you become a temporary family. Thanks, guys. We will remember this for a long time to come. Thank you.